What's happening, everybody? Greg Ehrenberg here from Stochastic.com, and we're going to break it down so rare. As you guys know, there's two slates per week over on so rare. One runs Monday through Thursday, and then the one that I'm about to be breaking down runs Friday through Sunday. We've got free projections over at Stochastic.com. I'm going to be pulling those up on my screen in a second to walk you through my favorite so rare options for the upcoming slate. But also, if you guys haven't signed up at so rare yet, we have a great deal that you're not going to find anywhere else because when you sign up at SoRare using the link that we have below, the first five limited card players that you purchase, you're going to get a sixth one for free. It's a great way to help build out your portfolio of players, help you get access to additional players as you build out your lineups. So take advantage of that and sign up using the link below when you go and head on over to SoRare for the first time. Now, uh, here's a look at the projections that we have over at Stochastic.com. I'm actually going to make them a little bit bigger. There we go. Make me smaller. Make the projections bigger. You want to see the numbers. You don't want to see me as much. Uh, but here's what I'm going to do. Just going to rattle off my five favorite plays and using our projections, once again, are totally free to use. I think this is a really good reference point for you guys when you're building out these lineups. And you can find those projections as well below in the comment section. And, you know, a lot of this is going to work fairly similarly to DFS. And a couple columns here to look at that I'm going to be highlighting for you if you guys haven't watched this before. Projection, this is the amount of fantasy points we expect everybody to score. Last 10 average, that's the equivalent of the player's salaries over on so rare. And then value, this is the differential between the projection and the last 10 average. The higher the value score, the better value they are overall. And then a negative means that a player is a little bit overpriced over on so rare relative to our projections. But the number one player that stands out to me on the high end here is going to be Anthony Davis, especially relative to his cost, because we've got him projected similarly to Joel Embiid, similarly to Nikola Jokic, similarly to Damian Lillard, actually a little bit higher than Damian Lillard for the upcoming slate. But he's cheaper than all of these guys. So Lillard uh, so Lillard being actually five points projected below Anthony Davis. Uh, but AD, he's my favorite payoff option that we have for the upcoming slate, all things being considered. Lakers fighting for a playoff spot. LeBron James remains out. These are pivotal must-win games for the Lakers. Anthony Davis has been a monster as of late. I like him to keep it going, especially with the additional usage going his way in the absence of LeBron James. Now, the next couple of players, I'm going to group them together because they come from the same team and they're benefiting from the same scenario. And that is we go to the Dallas Mavericks and the current absence of Luka Doncic. So a couple of players, like I said, stand out. And it's a little hard to project Kyrie Irving right now just because we have not seen a ton of games with him on the Dallas Mavericks. And we certainly haven't seen him play games without Luka Doncic, but it stands to reason using logic that Kyrie Irving is going to play a massive role and see a big, big usage increase in the absence of Luka. I expect the ball to be in his hands constantly, and I think this is a role that we should see Kyrie Irving thrive in. So Kyrie Irving, we don't see them play on Friday. They are going to be playing over the weekend. One little down downside of this is that the Mavericks only play one game for the upcoming slate. But all that aside, I think we have to consider the massive bump in usage that Kyrie Irving is likely to see without Luka Doncic. And now the same thing is going to go for the next player that I'm looking at from the Dallas Mavericks. I'm going to start here. I'm going to sort here by the value column. And Christian Wood, who has played a much lesser role for Dallas as of late. We haven't seen him start like he was earlier in the season. We haven't seen the extended minutes in the same way. But part of the reason for that has been that Christian Wood is really poor defensively and he's not the best fit alongside Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic. Dallas has enough offense for those two guys on the court. They don't have enough defense. So they go with more defense first players. But now with Luka out, there's more of a priority to try to get more minutes to Christian Wood. And then in addition to that, we've got JaVale McGee currently questionable to play tomorrow. And just overall, this team being a little bit banged up. We saw Maxi Kleba return from injury as of late, but he hasn't looked all that great since returning from a long layoff. And I do think there's an opportunity for more minutes and more usage for Christian Wood. We saw this last game with Luka getting hurt during the game. Wood played 26 minutes. That is the most that he played since January 18th. So we're looking about two months where Christian Wood wasn't able to get to these kind of minutes. And now in the absence of Luka, looks like he's becoming a little bit more of a priority for Dallas. Makes sense. They need the extra offense on the court. I like them to go to Christian Wood here. He's another great value for us over on So Rare. A couple players left to read off here, but first, if you guys haven't done it, do me a favor by liking the video and subscribing to the YouTube channel or putting out some free content here. And a couple guys here towards the top, I'm going to be highlighting both of them. First, Kelly Oubre. 26 is his salary over on so rare. We actually got him projected for north of 40 fantasy points. The reason being, LaMelo Ball remains out for this team. We've seen Ubre move into the starting lineup in place 
of LaMelo Ball, and he's played really well as of late. We did see when he first moved into the starting lineup, Charlotte said that he was going to have a minutes restriction. Uh, turns out that's not the case because Kelly Oubre is playing a ton of minutes as of late. I don't have any concerns about what his minutes are going to look like moving forward. The reason being, like I said, is how much he's been playing lately. The last few games for Kelly Oubre, he has played 38, 36, 35, 41, and 38 minutes. This playing time is very secure. He's underpriced relative to what he's done in his last few games, and the salary hasn't quite caught up over on SoRare. So Kelly Oubre, definitely a go-to for me uh, in this upcoming slate. And then finally, the best value we have overall. He was also the best value projected for us on the last slate. And if I'm not mistaken, Tyus Jones was actually the best value we've had of the entire season on SoRare on the last slate. And his salary's gone up a little bit. He was 15. Now he's gone up to 18, but still the same scenario. He's benefiting in a very big way in the absence of John Morant. Tyus Jones has moved into the starting lineup, and uh, the return for Morant doesn't appear imminent either. We don't know when he's going to be back into the mix, but as a starter this year, we've got a lot of data now. We have seen 12 starts out of Tyus Jones in those starts. He's playing 33 and a half minutes per game and averaging 42 and a half so rare fantasy points. He is the number one rated value for us on the entire slate, and I totally agree with it. I love going to Tyus Jones for this upcoming slate if he's available to you. So go load up on Tyus Jones. I think he's got to build your lineups around. And that's going to do it for me today. If you guys haven't done it yet, like the video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you haven't signed up, it's so rare. Take advantage of our offer. You click on the link below. You purchase five limited player cards, and you're going to get a sixth one for free. Help you win some really cool and rare prizes over at SoRare. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below in the comment section. Good luck on the upcoming slate.